So in this case, I'm going to actually go ahead, just type an A. I'm going to approve the package. Now, my package should be ready to go, and then you just follow your normal package processing for whatever you want to do. Maybe you move it, you know, immediately. Maybe you have it set to go with your job scheduler. Whatever process you've got set up at your shop will just naturally be invoked, and you can carry on from there. Um, you can also move elements uh, within Quick Edit without packages. If, let's say, maybe at one of your lower stages you don't have packaging required, you can do that. So I've come back to the main screen, <clears throat> and I'm going to bring up my element selection list again. Next screen. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the element that I edited before, my FIN APP02, and I'm actually just going to move it without a package. So again, you can see I'm just inside my element list here, and I'm doing another command. So right from this one spot, I've done basically my edits, which um, you know would be equivalent of doing a, a retrieve and an add update in your normal process. So instead of having to do all that, I've just stayed right within Endeavor. It's done it all for me in one step instead of four or five steps. <clears throat> and now if I want to do the move, I type a O for move. I hit Enter, and it goes ahead and does the move for me. And you can see it refreshes the screen. So it's basically showing me that it's moved it from my dev stage one to my dev stage two. And if you'll notice at the top, it's giving me a synchronization caution message. So it's going to give you error messages or warnings along the way. This element was moved with a warning because, as you can see, somebody has come in ahead of me and we're now out of sync. So I'm basically in a, in a spot where I could regress code, but Endeavor is alerting me and telling me, hey, you've got a problem coming up here, you know, I'm alerting you, what do you want to do about it? So there will always be messages that Quick Edit is um, giving you as you work. Next screen. Um, parallel development is something that most customers use nowadays, and they have to do it, they have no choice. And we're trying to add more and more things into uh, in Quick Edit to make that easier for you and, um, you know, help you with that process. Next screen. Um, parallel development is basically a term to describe, you know, uh, more than one person working on a program. So nowadays it's very hard to avoid that. There could be five people working on the same program. There could be ten people. There could just be two people. Uh, no matter how many you have, you still need a way to track this and control it and make sure that you're not stepping on each other's toes. You don't want to regress code. You don't want to wait till the last minute to find out that somebody else has been working on this program and I need to make changes to it. Um, our philosophy is the sooner you know about it, the better, and you know you can take care of it in a more um, proactive way rather than just reacting when something's going to production. Um, we also have integrated Quick Edit with the Parallel Development Manager, and you can actually now, from the Parallel Development Manager, merge and save your code directly back into Endeavor. PDM is a tool that does comparisons of different versions of code for you, and once you compare those together, you used to have to save it out into a data set. Now you can save it directly back into your Endeavor inventory structure. Now, we've also added some very nice messaging to Quick Edit that will help you quickly identify when you do have these conflicts and when somebody has promoted ahead of you. So that's one of the very nice things about Quick Edit. You can actually look and see um, where a copy of a program is throughout your environment by wildcarding everything, and then if somebody has promoted ahead of you in the life cycle, we're going to give you messages next time you try to go back into your code. So this is a, a real nice tool to help you with concurrent development. Next slide. Um, I'm going to talk about identifying the synchronization conflicts with Quick Edit, and we'll walk you through that process and show you the screen. Next slide. Um, again, you're going to come back into Quick Edit to continue your development. Let's say you're working on something, and in the meantime, somebody else has signed that program out, and they're working on it in their own work area or sandbox area. I'm going to select my element to edit it, and Quick Edit's going to give me messages if I have been placed out of sync. Okay, you can also use email notifications to be sent to all of the element owners that are out of sync so that, you know, even if I haven't come back into Endeavor yet, I may have received an email that said, hey, you know, um, programmer A has now 
placed you out of sync, you're going to have to do something about this. And this condition occurs immediately upon your element being placed out of sync. It's not one where you have to wait till you actually try to move it or put it in a package and cast it to find out. You're going to be notified as soon as you try to go in and edit that element. So what I'm doing here, next screen, on this screen is um, I'm going to search for all elements called Mary Ann 7 that I have in concurrent development right now. So you can see I've wild-carded environment, system, and subsystem. So I'm saying basically I want you to look across the whole inventory, all of my environments, all of my stages, and bring up every Mary Ann 7 program that's out there. I'm building this list using the map, and I am not just returning the first found because I want to see everything that's out there. So I hit enter, go to the next screen, and now you can see my list of Marianne 7 programs. All right, there's five of them out there. And if I take a look, I can see that some of them are in different um, subsystems. I am using my subsystems as a sandbox area for concurrent development. Each of my team members has their own subsystem. They can either name it, you know, put their name on it. As you can see, I have a Marianne subsystem, or they can put their own name on one, or we can call them anything we like. So basically, that's what we're doing here. I've got Marianne 7 in production on the bottom. I've got one sitting in QA in my regular accounts receivable subsystem. I have two of them in separate sandbox subsystems, and then I have one in the development stage of my accounts receivable subsystem. You can isolate your sandbox subsystems here so that you can just be totally on your own and working by yourself if that's how you choose to set it up. So basically here I've got a whole list of all of my Marianne elements so I can very quickly and easily with quick edit find all occurrences of the program I've, I'm working on. And if I wanted to see who had them signed out, I could just, you know, scroll to the left-right scrolling and look over to the side to see the sign out. Now, let's say, for instance, I want to come in and I'm going to edit mine here. So I type an E next to the element, next screen. <clears throat> Immediately, a message comes up that says, I have a synchronization conflict. Quick Edit is alerting me to the fact that somebody has promoted up ahead of me. So it's telling me that element Mary Ann 7 has been found to be out of sync with the next occurrence in the life cycle map. In this case, it's the QA environment stage one um, version of Mary Ann 7. So before I've even gotten into my element, right away I know, okay, somebody's already put me out of sync. I'm going to have to take care of this eventually. So, as a, again, I'll say our goal is to give you these concurrent development messages as early as we possibly can in the process so that you can be very proactive with this and not be caught when you're moving something into production at the last minute. Next slide. Um, we have also integrated Quick Edit with our Parallel Development Manager, and this is another part of the process that we are trying to make um, concurrent development a little bit easier for our customers to handle and to use. Next screen. Uh, now you can actually stay right within Quick Edit the whole time, and you can invoke PDM from there. You can create your WIP files right from that spot, make the applicable edits that you need, and then you can actually merge these edits together and save the element directly back into Endeavor without leaving Quick Edit. Before, you used to have to, um, you know, leave Quick Edit, go to PDM, you'd have to make sure you had, uh, you know, you, you pull all your elements and you save your WIP file inside of a, a PDS and then you would merge it and then you'd have to add it back into Endeavor. So that was quite a few steps to do that. So what we've done by integrating PDM and Quick Edit is we have eliminated many of those steps that you used to have to take. Next screen. So now you can see we're back on the basic quick edit option screen. I'm typing in PD for parallel development. All right, so this is going to take me directly into the parallel development manager, as you can see from the next slide. So here's my parallel development manager. Now I can go through the necessary steps with PDM, you know, to, to make sure that my Marianne 7, that I don't lose anything, so I can compare it with any of those other Marianne 7s that are out there. Next screen. As you can see here, I can now go directly into Endeavor. Just type an E. It will bring up the logical inventory structure from me. 
You can see this on the next screen. I can basically say, okay, you know, I'm going to point to dev uh, environment, finance system, accounts receivable subsystem. I can specify my element. I can, you know, leave it blank and just bring up a list. Or I could have pointed to one in one of my sandboxes if I liked. So you have a lot of choices you can do here. And then you can actually just go ahead and save that element directly back into Endeavor. So everything I showed you today, I did just directly from Quick Edit, and I never had to leave Quick Edit. All of that was done from there. My editing, my generating, moving, packaging, um, browsing the component list, looking at changes, all that functionality is done from one screen, and it will just save you an enormous amount of time. You won't have to constantly be going between Endeavor and then back to your personal PDS and then back to Endeavor. You just stay in this all the time, do all your work, and then as far as the concurrent development goes, you are always in Endeavor, so you always know what's happening, who's working on what, and um, what, what things are taking place. So you'll get your notifications immediately. Uh, we have documentation out there. We have a, a nice uh, online tutorial. There's also documentation for Quick Edit. can be found in the Quick Edit Option User Guide. And I thank you for your time today attending the Endeavor Quick Edit uh, demonstration. And we look forward to speaking with you in the future.